don't see that anywhere. Oh, it says there's five watching and then four watching. Oh, hi. No, oh, it is working. Hello. Uh, John Serial. Let me get this set up right so it works properly. Hi. I'm a big sense since Japan. Oh, well, thank you very much. I, I do appreciate it. Please bear with me. I'm um, experimenting with this technology. So, as you can see, I have uh, a background and I have a uh, uh, you know, the chat window, video window, all in one, one fell in one thing. So I actually, I, I did this for a reason. I wanted to uh, make a video to share some, uh, some things that have happened today and I thought it would be neat to be able to do it, be able to see the chat and to be able to control the dashboard in such a way that uh, various things can happen. So um, I'll try to kind of keep an eye on the, on the chat window over here, my little, my, my second monitor here, my phone. And um, we'll just go ahead and proceed on through. So uh, the technology here, I'm thinking, will be very helpful in uh, finding ways to uh, communicate better. Um, I have uh, kind of um, some things that I want to share over in 2018. And it's one thing to go out into the wild and to hold the camera up and talk at the camera and then come back and then, you know, to two weeks later to upload the video. and. And then, to basic, my life is rather busy, so I tend not to um, check comments or anything very much. So it's a very disconnected thing. So I thought I'd try this a little more, especially now with my daughter growing older and having more of her own life. And as you can see, I have, I'm here at home, um, and uh, I have a lot more time just sitting around. So let's do this. So the news for today, uh, a couple of uh, big things. Um, I also want to start doing more moto vlogging. So to that end, the uh, big news for today was I, I went out and uh, purchased uh, a new helmet right here. Um, that's because the helmet that I had before was a, it's a piece of junk. <laughs> it's a very inexpensive helmet and um, it uh, has a lot of problems with uh, wind. It's very, very noisy. So I decided I'd get myself a better helmet. Well, what I first did was I bought this microphone here. It's a Rode, uh, I guess it's a lapel mic. Uh, this is what you're hearing me talking on right now. Um, I hope the quality is all right. Uh, John, can you hear me all right? Let me, please let me know in comments if I'm coming through loud and clear. I'd appreciate it. So I got this, first of all, this mic. And it, I had I actually, to, to do moto vlogging, I had to get a lot of things. Basically the whole kit and caboodle. I had a GoPro, but it's old and kind of, kind of uh, at, at its end. So I went ahead and got this mic first and I tried it out with my old helmet. Um, some of you saw, may have some, seen some of those videos when I was... Uh, doing some YouTube live from my uh, motorcycle. Audio was just terrible. The video was not so good either, so I decided to move on. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Oh, hi, Patrick. I'm glad to, glad to hear it's good quality. So the next step then was to get the, the helmet. And, uh, oh, good. Yeah, it was, it's a good quality mic, so I'm glad it's okay. This is the same mic that I'm going to be using with the helmet. So I'm hoping to couple the two up, that'll be really good. I bought this helmet particularly for its, uh, its quiet. It's the quietest helmet uh, on the market, apparently. So let's do a little bit of an, uh, an unboxing, shall we? Let's open this up. Now, bear in mind, I have a puppy dog on my lap. I'll hold my camera down. Maybe you can see my little black dog in my lap. Ollie, can you say hi? Say hi to the nice folks. I don't know if you guys can see him sitting there. It's my little puppy dog. Ollie, can you say hi? Let's turn you around. See the camera? <laughs> so he's a very needy, needy little boy, and uh, so he's very happy that, uh, that we're home. My wife will be home in about an hour. And you're listening with headphones. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, box now for the helmet. And this is the first uh, new helmet that I've ever bought. Um, the helmet I got had before that I was using. Ollie's very interested in that. Look at this. Ollie, what is this? What is this? What is this? Can you guys see him looking at it? The helmet I had before was uh, a freebie. Um, and like I said, it wasn't very good, but it got me by for four years. So I've decided to go ahead and splurge and I bought myself a new helmet. Here it is. <coughs> got a nice little case. I'll use this. Uh, I'm sure I'll find some good use for this for carrying some gear on my bike and the panniers. But here's, here's my new helmet. Uh, this is a, um, a shoe berth which is one of the best helmets out there. Um, I chose to get the white one. 
uh, like I said, it's very quiet inside. And one of the reasons that it's able to be quiet is that it has a very good uh, seal around the neck here. So there's not, much, um, there's not much wind that can come through. It's really the wind that does the job. In fact, it's so well sealed, you might wonder, how in the heck can you get in there? It's actually got a little button right here. Let's see if I can push this. And the whole face of the helmet then uh, lifts up. And that's how you put it on. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put it on now. I've got my headphones in. I don't know why I have the headphones in. Why do I have the headphones in? I can't hear anything, so, <laughs> so I'll take those off. Let's go ahead and put this on. Oh, that's much nicer. Oh, headphones. But I will use the headphones um, when I'm writing because I like to listen to my music. And a very uh, simple attachment right here. This just slides right in. There we go. Right. You know what? Actually, what I'm, part of what I'm planning to do is, oh, let's just do this a little better. I didn't do that so well. It just snaps in really easy. And now it's on, and I can snap it off like that. So I want to show you guys how the, the, the waterfall that you see over there on the left side of the screen isn't just decoration. That's very strategic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this right here. Let's go ahead and uh, use this. And let's, let's, do, let's make a little agenda. So first I want to talk about, whoops. You know, let's grab a couple of things here. One, two, three, those things. So let's give a date to this. I wonder if you guys are seeing this. Um, 12, no, today is 01. Let's just say uh, Jan, January 03, 2018. We'll put this in and move these down. I wonder if you guys are able to see this. It's kind of, I know it's kind of over on the side there. And we'll put a bullet there. There we go. Size is a little bit different here. Let's make this font size. Um, make it 20, 28. I wonder if you guys can see that though, if it's 28, 32. So I'm just going to say uh, helmet. So the things we're going to talk about tonight are helmet, a new camera, and stingrays. So anybody else that shows up a little later is going to see this a little bit differently. And I'm going to go ahead and make that full size with an F5 button. That'll come up full size. Wait till it kind of buffers around. And so I can uh, watch. And then if I click on uh, the, begin clicking through, we have the date. And our first topic is the uh, new helmet. Let's see if that shows up. So basically, I have a PowerPoint presentation that I'm running behind all of this. So my three topics for this particular video upcast are my new helmet, my camera, and then some stingrays. And I'm sorry it's all about me, but it's, it's kind of news, news for me. So this is kind of how I plan to do things. When I, I have some presentations I want to do, and when I do that, I'll move things around. So you would be vlogging while riding your bike? Y uh, yes, John, I will. Uh, this, I will be uh, doing um, uh, moto vlogs, uh, hopefully beginning this week. So now that I have the helmet on, now you don't want to ride with it like this, but I will. Um, but to, now to get it on, you actually want to then drop it down until it snaps into place. And now the helmet's actually on. Uh, and it's a really nice secure fit. I'm going to force lift up the visor here. And uh, that's good. Oh, it feels so good, so comfy. It's a re like I said, it's a good quality helmet. Now what you can do also, one of the problems that I have is that um, I wear my sunglasses with my helmet. And that, um, you probably can't hear me so well right now, a little muffled. And so that kind of, you know, hurts the side of my face when I put them on there. But this helmet has a cool helmet. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad, I, I, I'm glad you like it. I like it a lot too. Hopefully it'll last me a long time and see if I can find the switch for this. Watch this. This is really cool. Let's say I'm riding along and suddenly the sun comes out. <laughs> you just drop down the uh, Luke Skywalker uh, Battlestar Galactica visor. And, uh, you, and, and you're good to go. Back up you go. So to take it off, um, they were laughing at me at the motorcycle store because I couldn't quite figure out how to get out. There we go. And we will take off the helmet. The helmet's really easy to just snap off and it comes right off. It's got a five-year warranty. Um, so hopefully it'll last that long. But I'm going to be mounting this mic in here 
and be doing some moto vlogging. Like I said, as uh, recent as soon as this week. Just so you can seal that, snap that. Sh there we go. I'll put this over here on the sofa. So that was the first thing that I wanted to talk about, share with you guys. The second thing was a new camera. Now I was planning to buy a, a GoPro. I was going to get. I did some research and I got the. Go I was going to get the GoPro uh, Session Five. Um, oh, so there's more. Come. You should watch AD channel. Uh, ADV channel, they have the sound and quality down pretty good. Okay, I'll check that out. ADV China. I think I've seen that guy. Isn't he the guy that crashed and got hurt? I've heard you talk about the simple, simplest things in Japan and make them interesting. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Uh, Tad, Tad, I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses. Tadim Flynn, bad timing for me to tune in, nearly 3 a.m. and I've got to work at 9. Hello and goodbye. I'll give this broadcast a watch tomorrow if I can. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Sorry to catch you at such a bad time. So the, and I'm sorry, I'll try to keep, keep make sure I, do, I watch the uh, comments. Note to self, bring my glasses. I can't go anywhere right now because I've got the puppy dog on my thing. So the next thing I want to show, so I was going to get the GoPro session, um, excuse me, dry throat. The session five, and I didn't need the six because I don't need the voice activation features, and I don't need the 4K. Um, although the stabilization was really attractive, hopefully this camera will work out long enough for me to eventually be able to uh, the, the, the new um, GoPro six session six is will come down in price, and I'll be able to get that with better stabilization. Um, so I just well, while I was buying the helmet at the uh, BMW motorcycle dealership. My friend uh, Dennis, who has been my friend forever, he actually was my brother-in-law at one time. Um, actually, no, that's that's James. <laughs> I'm getting my friends and relations mixed up. But Dennis is, is my brother's best friend for decades. He's like a brother to me. Anyway, just coincidence that Dennis got a job <coughs> working as a uh, as the parts salesman at the BMW Riverside uh, d uh, motorcycle dealership. So I, I go see him. We go have lunch every couple of weeks um, with my brother. Uh, who I work with. Uh, it's a small world. Anyway, he, he was, I was telling him I was going to buy a GoPro and he turned me on to this thing which they sold, the uh, Prism Tube. And I did a quick, uh, whipped out the Amazon app and checked the reviews, very positive reviews, watched a couple of videos. And there was an older gentleman in the store who was, uh, had purchased one and was giving me rave reviews talking all about it. So I decided to buy one on the spot. Um, about 125 uh, new, I got it for uh, 99. Got a little bit of the uh, no dentist discount, and let's open it up and have a have a look see. What happened to that flat Earth guy and his rocket? Well, um, when he uh, when I was out there, it didn't come through in the video. But did you if you saw the video, did you see how they were kind of at the first they were like, oh, we got to keep on moving. That's because the BM, BLM guy, the Bu the Bureau of Land Management guys, had come by and told them you're actually not on BLM land. They had only received permission to fly off of land owned by um, the gentleman who owns the city of Amboy, the town of Amboy, and um, who happens to be kind of a famous guy in his own right. He kind of owns a chicken uh, fa franchise. And so they had positioned their rocket thing about 100 feet away from the property line. So the BLM said, uh, came by and said, uh-uh, you've got to move it. And that's what they were doing. Um, and while they were in the process of moving it, I, it seemed like an impossible thing for them to move that rig. It's so hard to put together and take apart. They, 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 they expressed confidence that they would be able to do it, but I wasn't so sure they would be able to set it up. Um, well, actually, I wasn't. I just, it, just, it just looked like it was going to be difficult for them to do and meet their deadline to fly on Monday. So it didn't happen. Um, they kind of dropped off the radar. Um, um, Mad Mike left me a message on YouTube uh, or, or to comment on a video, but that comment, uh, uh, he deleted it real quick. So I don't know quite what's up or what's happening next with those guys. So here's the uh, prism, or prism tube. Can't wait to get this set up. And look how small this thing is. It kind of looks more like a flashlight, don't you think? Look at the size of this. And you pop that off, and there's the uh, lens for the camera. And to turn it on and off, you just pull this little thing forward and back. It kind of reminds me of the shake weight, right? <laughs> but not, not, quite as, not quite as vulgar. <laughs> and you just pull it on, and that turns it on. And the little LED light comes on and tells you it's on, and pull it back to turn it off. And it's really a clever design, because when the cap is on, it's impossible to turn it on. 
and it's got a mount. Um, if I open up this little accessory box that comes with it, it's got a little mount thing that you can use to uh, mount it to the side of the helmet, and it's much lower, less, much lower profile than the um, than the GoPro. So here's the, here it is in the bag. Hi, Ollie. Oh, you're curious. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? You wonder what that is? Can you guys see what it is? <laughs> he always turns away when I finally turn back to you guys. So here's the little thing. And this um, mounts flush up against the side of the helmet, like that. And then you put this uh, camera flashlight looking thing in. And I think you just have to slide it through. That's probably the best way. And you want to do it so that it's facing up. Now careful because I don't want to break it. There we go. Snaps in. And there we go. And you simply have to uh, reach up and pull that thing forward to turn it on. And it's actually got a little microphone thing. You can unscrew this cap here at the back. Yeah, it's really small. It really is, John. And it's got um, a s whole series of attachments in here. But you can basically plug it in here and it comes out. A little wire comes out. It comes with a microphone that I can put in the helmet. And it also comes with a little uh, uh, speaker that you can put by your ear to give you voice commands, tell you what's on and tell you what's off. So I'm going to set all this up and try to get all this uh, put together. I don't have the micro, US, the micro SD card, so I'll have to go get one. But fortunately, I got a um, Staples, which is an office supply store here in the States, sent me a $10 off any purchase of $10 or more gift card. This is the second one they've sent me. So an SD card it should be about less than $20. I'm going to get a 32 gig one. I found, found them on Amazon for about 14 And with the $10 card, I should be able to get one for um, a pretty good, good rate. Then I'll put that in, charge it up, and be good to go. So no video tomorrow. Um, maybe, the, maybe by Friday morning, I'll be able to do my first moto vlog. Now, so that's that. Um, and finally, the last item of news is, let's see if that comes up. Will I pull this over? I'll just leave that off, is um, stingrays. So, you know, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, if, you, if you watch the channel um, much, but last year I was doing some videos in the ocean, and it kind of stopped all of a sudden. I think that was around September 2000. No, it was, it was, in, the, it was in the spring, I think it was. And that's because I got nailed by a stingray. And um, if you've never been nailed by a stingray, um, they're incredibly uh, painful. They release, uh, inject uh, serotonin uh, in, into your system and they, and they just, just slice and dice your skin like a Ginsu knife and just, Ginsu knife and just blood comes out everywhere. It's astonishingly painful. I was alone when it happened. I had to ride the motorcycle home just you know, screaming into my helmet. It was so painful. But fortunately, hot water helped. So um, Yumiko and I, my wife and I, were down at the beach on Sunday. Just we, We'd had breakfast, and we were taking a walk. And I noticed uh, uh, two people stumbling out of the ocean. It was an older man my age and a teenage boy. And the older man was helping the teenage boy. And he'd been, the boy had been stung by a stingray. Just blood was just pouring out of his foot. And he was, you know, just almost just in tears. I mean, it, it's astonishingly painful. And... Um, so I needed to help them to get up the stairs to get to the car so we could take him in. And while we were going up the stairs together, I was telling him that I commiserated with him, that I understand how bad it was, how the pain is. The father had never been stung. So um, it, it, I th hopefully it gave him some comfort to know that he'll be okay. I told him he's going to be okay. Get home, get his foot in hot water. The pain will go away like that. But in the news, I just read in the news that apparently we have a stingray uh, uh, invasion going on here in Southern California that Huntington Beach alone this last weekend, I believe it was on Sunday, reported I think 75 or plus stingray stings, which was a new record for them. Apparently the uh, warm water, shallow tide, and uh, the La Nina effect, which is, a, which is an atmospheric and, and uh, oceanic uh, effect, uh, contributed to uh, making the uh, near shore waters a, a real habitat and an attractive place for stingrays. That's the reason. So I, plan, I do plan to get back in the water uh, more as well and start doing more dive videos as well. In fact, that was one of the reasons I wanted the GoPro session was to take it in the water. But this just looked too attractive to uh, give up. One last thing. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I can, uh, with this setup, I can go in here and uh, go to Google 
and um, bring up, look at that, stingrays and other rays. You just did a, ray, a search for stingrays and it brought up all kinds of stuff. But I can show you Google, Google stuff as well as I can show videos here, uh, just about anything I want. You know, I can go in here and, and uh, do a web search for um, uh, prism tube. Prism tube. If, if I can get my fingers in there, right? <laughs> and there it is. There's my uh, little my little prism uh, tube at Amazon. That's the little thing I just bought. Well, that is not that is a stunning photo. There we go. There it is. Well, with that, uh, friends, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off. Um, I need to go uh, do my swim. Swim every uh, every day, ten laps. Um, it's what time is it? It is. Uh, well, heaven knows. I don't know what time it is. We talked about um, uh, helmet, new camera, and stingray. So that's enough for tonight. I'll probably be doing this more often. This is kind of fun to be able to set up a little agenda, have a little chat. Um, thank you for joining me uh, 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 and uh, spending a little time. And uh, I do appreciate. it. Hope to see you all again. I just have to figure out how to turn this thing off. Take care, everybody. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. Okay, good night. 658, thank you very much. So there's a bit of a delay. So uh, I feel like I'm going to basically, uh, you know, cut you guys off because I think I'm a little ahead. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Good to see you. I have a wonderful evening yourself. I'll see you all again real soon. We'll be doing this more. Take care. Well, Ollie, can you say bye?